Hey, I'm Trails and I'm finally at Monster Clues. It was a long road and we're not there yet, but it's my goal to get every single Monster Clue requirement while not being able to train a skill or do a quest without it being necessary for the clue step. But bear with me, because I'm still learning and I might look like a complete dumbass most of the time, but you'll learn to love it. Welcome to Season 4. My web is... <sighs> Alright, that was the task. <laughs> Still very shaken up about that Banos chest plate situation, but... Oh my god, no way! Oh my god, no way! Oh my god, no way! Fuck, dude! No way, I just got a BCP! I just lost the BCP by 15 seconds. Time to really start this Slayer grind. As you guys know, I'm looking for the Smoldering Stone. Either I get 91 Slayer and kill Cerberus, or get lucky at a 1 out of 32k drop from Hellhounds. Either way, there are some milestone upgrades that I need before I get the Cerberus. And because I'm hip and trendy, I made a tier list. These are the items we're going to be hunting on our way to 91 Slayer. First up, the most important thing of the bunch is the Black Mask. That is 100% S tier. It'll make the Slayer grind a billion times easier. I have done Cabin Fever for a heart clue in the past, so I just have to get lucky by getting the task. Next up is the Bludgeon. At 85 Slayer, I can kill Sire, the Abyssal Demon boss, and the Bludgeon is one of the best to use at Cerberus itself. Because it's such an early unlock, I am going to grind that boss out until I get a Bludgeon. At 87 Slayer, I unlock the Kraken Tentacle and the Trident of the Swamp with Kraken Slayer tasks. Now these two are in general very good unlocks for the account and will help for grinds in the future. When we finally get to Cerberus himself, I would love to get the Picasian Crystal before the Primordial Crystal and before the Smoldering Stone. Because I'm only scared of one more grind and that is the Armadale Helmet, because I'm seriously lacking in range gear. I will get enough melee upgrades like the Fire Cape and the Dragon Defender in the future, so I feel like a melee upgrade is less important than a range upgrade in the future. And then we got three passives that we could get during these Slayer tasks. The Dragon Chain Body being the least important one out of these. I'm very excited to kill Calphite Queen in the future, but if I get a 1 out of the 32 K Dragon Chain drop from the Dust Devils, I won't be too upset. Next up, the Zami and the Bandos God Swords are two things that would be incredible unlocks if I get the boss slayer tasks for General Grodor and Krill, but I'm not at all expecting those, and I will only be doing the boss tasks if I finally get a Black Mask. That's why they're only in D tier. And last but not least, the Bandos Boots. I'm more likely to get these than the Hilts, so I'm putting them a little higher up, but for the same reason, they're not all the way above. You might be wondering why I didn't put the Armadil Helmet in this uh, setup. It's literally because I'm not going to be doing armor tasks, because I don't have the range gear to do it at the moment. Hopefully we can already check one of these off in this episode. Still at my dance with the old microphone, but this is my very first Slayer level of the grind. I know it took a little while, purely because of all the boss tasks I'm getting. I switched back to Neve just to go for more XP over um, money, because that's what they say, right? Duradel is the money guy, and um, Neve is the XP dude, or girl. Either way, 306k XP till the next level. The next level is Abbey Demons. Finally, <laughs> I should have should have got that ages ago. But these neck reel tasks are satisfying me very much. Even though I'm running out of death runes slowly but surely. I already had to buy new ones, so. Two extended neck reel tasks. Not a single necriarch. A little pissed about that. Look, I didn't mean for this to happen, but... <laughs> The Slayer monsters keep giving me Dagonoth King tasks, and this was a Konar task, so I couldn't skip it. I only did three. I only I only picked three Dagonoth Kings, and I decided to just go for three Rex kills just to be done with it. I got a second Dragon Axe. Finally, we have a chance of getting the Black Mask. Only 158, which is not even half the drop rate. <sighs> but there's a chance. There is a chance. No Black Mask, unfortunately, but we got two superiors, so... Guess that's alright. Oh, I did not miss this place one bit. And now we're here again. I only took three Grotter kills this task because I don't want to do Grotter all day. I'm, I kind of debated on skipping it, but for old time's sake, I guess I'm here again. Oh, yep. I'm getting so fucking pissed. Stop, miss. Oh, dude. You know what? Fuck it. I did a little oopsie. Uh, we just got 85 Slayers, so we have unlocked Abyssal Demons. And a task right after that, we got them, the Abbey Demons. Now the thing is, I forgot to extend them. So I'm going to extend Gargoyles and Abbey Demons right now. There they are, boom. I should have done that before. We have plenty of points. Let's do the first Abbey Demon task. We also just got 91 Magic. I don't know if I put in the Twitch clip or not, but if not, we just got 91 Magic, 94 Strength an 85 Slayer. That are the levels for the day. I don't think we're gonna get anything else. Maybe a defense level. This feels 
oddly familiar. Shadow barraging Abbey demons. <laughs> We've been here before. So yeah, I have 170 to go, or like 152 to go, and I've killed about 860 already. But now, contrary to the other time, we have the Slayer level, so we can actually get the superior Abbey demon, which is pretty cool. I don't know what it does. I hope I could just protect melee camp it out, but I'm enjoying I'm enjoying it. All right, so I decided to do a spiritual creatures task. One, they're actually pretty quick if you just finish off the God Wars creatures here, but we also need a second pair of dragon boots for in the stash unit. So I'm really glad I got those finally after, I think, two spiritual creature tasks. Today we have killed uh, 62 mages, but I think we are about on drop rate for the dragon boots. So with these two tasks, so I'm really happy. Dragon boots, probably not doing this task again. Just opened my 60th elite clue on stream and I got a dupe unique. That's rough. The 60th though, damn. We actually kill it. We're killing it on the elite clues. 243 abyssal demons to go. Maybe it's the time to try out Sire. Yep, this is gonna be great. I shouldn't do this without a Slayer Helm, I know, but we're gonna give it a try. Oh, what? It should be stunned. Yo, I'm s I'm going through this guy like butter. Holy shit! Even without a Slayer Helm, this is going alright, but I don't want to yell too soon, though. Alright, so we know where the problem lies. It's the third phase, that's for sure. Alright, <sighs> gotta check on the third phase again, because that was easy until that part. I'm learning it with sharks right now, but I'm pretty sure it is very, very possible to do it with potatoes and cheese. I completely cheesed on that lost form, too. Uh, I'm meant to use Blood Barrage, otherwise why am I bringing these runes, right? Um, I also realized that a rune pouch is going to be the biggest factor, together with the Slayer Helm, to get consistent kills. Uh, maybe even two kill trips, but one kill trips are good because it's really easy to get there. But yeah, the next upgrade should be a rune pouch and the Slayer Helmet. Now, I think I'm going to start boosting a couple Slayer points just to get, like, a shitload. Unlock that rune pouch, unlock everything I need, and then continue on to the Slayer grind. First, I want to get at least one or two Abyssal Sire kills. Hey! Hey! Bruh! Oh no! <laughs> I didn't see the teleport! Dude, I don't know what to do with this, with the uh, attack options. I didn't see the teleport. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, come on, finish him off. Yeah, first Sire kill, boys! Easy! Didn't even use that much food, I can actually do it with potatoes and cheese, I'm so happy! Yes! Come on. Yes, oh my god, that was too close. All right, there we go. Fucking clean. Three wound swords. Give me that. Lads! We got our first unsired! Yo! Shit! 14 kills in. Yo! That's so nice. All right, boys, here we go. A dagger or a bludgeon piece? Da oh, God damn it, dude! Ah, oh, that's the least thing I'm Ah, oh, you motherfucker. Whip number DOS. This is kill number 30. I forgot an antipod, which is <laughs> luckily not uh, our doom. But 30 kills on Unsired. I'm going to go for 50, maybe 100. We'll see. But I'm enjoying it a lot. And I'm hoping for a second Unsired for sure. Let's keep going. Ooh, oh, my God. What a drop. What is the chance of that? An unsired and a clue scroll elite. I was freaking out about the clue scroll elite. Just not a whip. Anything except for a whip. I wouldn't be too happy with a jar, but or with the abyssal heads. But rather that than another whip. Please, I'm gonna check this. No, I can't check the chat. I'm just gonna. Yes. Okay, first part of the bludgeon. Oof! Come on, that's one. That's one, baby. Oof. <laughs> Bludgeon piece number two or an abyssal dagger. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. We need one more piece. Come on, dude. One more piece and we're done with the bludgeon. This superior abyssal demon is going to give me 
86 Slayer. Can I get a drop? A clue scroll hard, all right, I'll take it. Totem middle, also beautiful. Uh, I don't think I unlock anything at 86, but I'm about to find out. The next level is a big one though. We can kill Kraken next level for the trident and the tentacle whip. So I'm looking forward to that one. Meanwhile, seven more Ks till 95 hit points. Now that I'm done with 380 tasks, it's time to task boost. I'm going to be doing um, Birththope, Mr. Turiel the whole time. And every 10th task, I'm going to be doing Duradel. And every 100th task, I'm going to be doing Konar. I'm going to be boosting because I want to buy a rune pouch and I want to unlock Lizardman Shamans. I also want enough points to be able to skip a lot of tasks so I can actually chase these cave horrors. Um, right, so we just got a Greater Demons Slayer task. And if you guys don't know, Skatizo is actually a Greater Demon, or he counts towards Greater Demons. So, I have nine totems, and I think I'm just going to do all of them. Boys, Fremenic Exiles. Oh my god. That's, uh, that's a little bump in the row. That's a bit weird, but I think I got all the requirements for Fremenic Exiles, right? Do I need to get anything? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Guess we're going for that now. All right, starting to combo me out now. I see how it is. Oof! Hit something. <laughs> Easy game. Yeah, 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 boys, completed it. That's the only elite step that we did not do yet. So now we have no fear. We've done every single elite clue step now. 15k Slayer XP, that's actually super convenient. And maybe a room crafting level. No. All right, and we're officially done with all Scotizos. Unfortunately, not a second pet. By the way, I'm also saving all these brimstone keys for a big opening, probably in the next episode. I'm sure you guys are looking forward to see what the final stack of hard slash elite clues is looking like. No noteworthy drops from those Scotizo kills except for a second Dark Claw. We already had one. If you don't know, this Dark Claw could be used to color your Slayer helmet into the purple variant. Unfortunately, we still didn't get any cave horrors this episode. Either way, the stack is looking at 68 hard clues, five elites, and 273 mediums still. We have not stacked up extra mediums, and we have been open a couple elite clues during the streams, but damn, this hard stack is going to 100, probably next episode. Right now, I have a fat gargoyle slayer task, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode today. Next week, I'll see you guys with a hardcore episode, probably. But the week after that, we are back with a massive Slayer grind. Hopefully, getting 88 or maybe 87. But then I want the Black Mask and a Kraken task. That's the goal. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Peace.